Hello, Kieran here from Glitch Free Gaming, and we're going to play more Mario Maker 2. As with all the previous videos, all of these levels come from the Waypoint community. And we're just going to jump straight into them with this one, which is Dry Koopa's Fortress by Luch, or Luke. Uh, probably Luke, given their name on the Waypoint forums is Luke Schaefer. <laughs> Does that make sense? So let's give this a shot. I know literally nothing about this other than Tough But Fair, which, oh my god. What way to start? I'm gonna get stuck in this for the entire video, aren't I? Uh, lava. But I need to stop using this clacky button controller. I want that box. So much for speedrunners. Going backwards. Uh, today is a good day though, so I thought I'd make some more Mario videos because I'm falling behind with the form thread. I think I'm kind of giving up on actually keeping up with it because I'm so far behind. So I'm just gonna, I'm still gonna keep doing what I'm doing and doing them in chrono chronological order. Oh, I'm doomed. Um, oh, how did I survive that? I should 100% have died there. That's too low then. No, I did. Um, I'm probably going to stop trying to keep up with the thread just because the thread's updating so quickly now. Uh, which is fine. There's not really anything bad about them. It means there's more levels to play. Uh, it just means that if you're posting levels in the thread, it might take me a little bit longer to get them. Uh, that's doubled by the fact that I've had a lot of time this week to make these videos, but that's not going to be the case going, you know, every week. Next week's probably fine. But, like, I have, no, I have tons of things to do this weekend, so there'll be no videos over the weekend. So, it'd be a lot faster if I just did this, like, in a stream format or something. Um, oh my god, that was a dumb death. But, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Simple as that. Don't have a good reason for it. I just prefer doing these, like, recording every individual level and then, you know, editing them very slightly. Like, I don't... I actually take as long to finish these levels as it shows. I'm not, like, cutting out runs or anything. Uh, but it lets me cut out any mistakes I make that are egregious, which hasn't happened. Um... But also allows me to, you know, cut out the little bits of like, you know, putting in the codes and search for stuff and all that. Which, you know, isn't that much, but the last video is like an hour and a half long. <laughs> so, if you even added in the like, the like minute or two for each episode or each uh, level of putting in the code to download the level and stuff like that, it, you know, it adds up. But, I should be alright. I think I needed that guy to jump off of. I don't think I can make this jump. <sighs> this is like the start of this level. <laughs> alright, let's not go for the box. Let's just... They say this is good for speedrunning, so I assume I can do this. Yep. Oh, I can do this as well. Look at me. Uh, get in the mushroom. I should not have done that. But you know what? I almost made it. I almost made it to checkpoint. That's not bad. For a hundred attempt. Um, oh, I should have ran again. Whatever. Bounce on them. You get better at this. Uh, I managed to actually upload the level I was playing last time. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, I said at the start, this is a good a good day. That's why I'm doing more Mario stuff. The star's gonna be aligned to let me play some more Mario tonight. I mean, I've been playing Mario anyway, but aligned to allow me to record them. That's the bit that, you know, I don't have time to do every day. Uh, and it's also good for other reasons. Like if you're a fan of Why Not Arab, that got renewed. I mean, it got renewed a while ago and then went silent forever. But they actually confirmed their start in production, which is good. It's about time. It's overdue. 
the series is great. Oh, I messed up. I could have made that checkpoint. Gotta be more patient. I know it's a speed running, but I don't need to listen to what the level maker says. I'm gonna get better at these jumps at least. Right. This one, this one, this one. Alright. Oh, okay. It's because I was playing the 3D world level before this. And you don't have to spin jump on the the flumps and that. Whoops. Easy stick. Uh uh Okay, I can't fetch that. <laughs> it's like if I just one Okay, that's good. At least it's still though. That's a, this happened on my level as well. I think it's because when scenery things like this spawn, it it pushes the camera up, which is not how I'd want that to work, because you don't really have control over the scenery popping up. weird. <laughs> Poor Goomba. I'll save you. Oh, that was just stupid. Can I go the other way? Oh, I need to spin jump. <sighs> Man, my world's so good though. Can go this way. That's where that red pipe is, right? And all this goes do is take me to that right, but I wonder if there's any interesting stuff in there. I wonder if they added this pipe after they realized that you could jump on that. Or... <laughs> oh, this is good. I missed every one of the good ones of this. Alright. Let's mess this up. Oh, I have a cape now. It seems like cheating. No. Go spin jump. Silly. Oh, this is gonna be way easier with keep. Oh god, maybe not, never mind. Oh, I was right then anyway. It made one jump slightly easier. It's barely even a cheat. I appreciate the boss just being a bunch of enemies stacked on top of each other though. That's pretty dumb. That's a good level. Good job, Luke. Uh, the next level is also one of Luke's. So we'll cut to that in just a second. Next up, we have the Dusty June Pipeline. Again by Luke. This should be good. I like the desert theme. I mean, as you've probably guessed, I like pretty much everything in this game except for New Super Mario Bros. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not as good as a lot of things. Slightly off, but I don't know if that's just the desert thing. Or if something's going crazy with my capture gear. Which is entirely possible as well. Can I get up here? Yay! Coins. Wonder if there's an extra life in one of these. Oh, even better! thing in this that said that you can choose which boss you fight. So I guess somewhere along the lines there's an on-off switch hidden. And uh, one of them releases Boom Boom, one of them releases Bowser Jr. Which is a cool idea. I'm not going to go back and find the other switch. But I liked it. So that's Dusty June Pipeline.
All right. Next up, we have Save Monte by Nico Cat, or Simple and Clean on the Waypoint forums. Doesn't look too bad. Clear rate's not too low. World record's not too long. And. Uh, Theme. All right. Oh, it's one of these kind of levels. I like these. Oh man, the animations on things in Super Mario Bros. just look so terrible. Oh no! Does he respawn? Please respawn, my friend. Come on, run. No, don't run. I lied. Okay, let's get far enough away again to respawn. Hey, buddy. Let's take it nice and careful. Oh, ho. I should not have gotten away with that. Ah! I didn't! I thought I did. Come on, buddy. Nope. Too fast. Oh, I didn't realize that my moles like chased you like this, which is kind of cool. This is a good use of that. Of all of the many enemies I've seen <laughs> this type of enemy made with, this is the smartest. Oh god damn it. But I'm also really bad at it. I'm not patient enough. Don't run off the thing. You're staying on here this time. Okay. Whoa. Get over here. Don't. Oh, how do I do this? I don't mess with him running off it. Yeah, that's not. Do I need to hit the button again before getting past this? I just need that. Alright, one more button press. I'm gonna run out of time on this level, I think. Just if I keep doing dumb stuff like that. I played a massive amount of this game recently outside of. I forgot to hit the button. Uh, outside of you know, these videos, basically. Okay, I'm gonna have to set up some wind up time, I think. Oh, this isn't gonna work. I wonder if you can leak that gap. I don't want to risk it though. Have these Koopas despawned? God, stay there, Monty. Don't come off the thing. Don't fall from my stupid, stupid plans. Here we go. Ha oh, no. <laughs> That was stupid. But I'm happy to at least see that a lot of other people died there as well. Right. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, I lied. <laughs> Instantly dead. Don't come with me if you want to live. It'll all end in sadness. Come on, buddy. Oh, Jesus. That was that was entirely my fault. That wasn't even accidentally leading him off a ledge. That was... I murdered that mole. I didn't respond. Maybe he's actually permanently dead now. That's the only logical explanation. Have I actually killed it? I think I need to restart it. I think if... Maybe if you actually kill it and not if it drowns, it doesn't respond. That's funny. I wonder if the guy that made this level, uh, for what, simple and clean? 
I wonder if they know that. It explained why they used war, but where she could just use pets, but that might just be an aesthetic choice. Yeah, that's dead. He dead. Right, come on, buddy. We got this. We got so far. We came so far. We saw so many great sights together. And then you drowned a few dozen times. So what? That's just a holiday. That's how holidays do. Sometimes you... Oh no! He stopped the shell. Yeah, I need another mole. I broke mine again. Permanently! And he stopped killing it. That's not good. Right. This time. Slow and steady. Go over here. What I go over here? Okay, now the turtle's here. Let's get that you all the way over here first. Oh no! No, Monty. Right. I think I'm getting there. I just need to not murder them all. Bring them over here. I feel like I should not go away with that one either. If this game has proven anything, any time I get away with something, I die somewhere really stupid. There's recompense. Like Mario Karma. Just my new Mario Kart spin-off. Yes. And you're with his family. That's adorable. That's possibly the most adorable use of enemies in Mario Maker I've ever seen. All right, let's see if I can go up here. Probably go like kill me or take back. No, it's just the whole level again. That's quite cool. I don't know if this is intentional. Like I said, the forest game seems a little bit buggy with like the top row of things. So maybe this was meant to be sealed off. I have no way of knowing because they took out the ability to edit other people's levels, which is fine. I don't really mind it too much. Oh yeah, Mario time. That was a good level. Not too compli- compli- I can't fucking speak. Not too complicated. But a bit of a pain just because of how the mole moves, but not in any like really terrible way. Be careful. Look after your mole. Uh, and yeah, and it had door blending. <laughs> this comment by Nick Thick is pretty good. I can't really make it out fully. I don't think there's any way to view comments bigger. I think it's just Mario and Money Mole. Next up, we have Morning, I'm Taking Your Car by Dixivd. Dixivd? D D I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, that's their name on the waypoint form as well. This is a car based level. People don't know. There's cars in Mario. It's not unprecedented. Let's steal this guy's car. So I need to get a key and come back. Oh god. I wonder if you have to keep the car in one piece. The car can get destroyed. No. No. These big fire things.
concentrate. Take out this blooper. Get these guys out. Oh, damage my car. Which is not what I wanted. There's magic in there. Bloody one. And then lose my car. Can I complete it without the car? Let's find out. Oh no. I wonder if you can get the car all the way to the end. I want to try even if you don't need to. But I suspect you might need to. I don't know how you would even walk that one. There's not really anything the car can do better than mine. Yeah, so when you crash into things... Can you go through this pipe? Um, parts of the car fall off. Which is pretty grim. Oh! <laughs> hey, kill that match, Cooper. I really need to head those fish as well. I think we can do this. It's not too bad. It's a good level, though. I don't see a lot of car levels. I surprised. Oh, no, I might as well start again. Uh, I thought there'd be more, because. I mean, they put a car in Mario. It's pretty cool. It does kind of control terribly, to be fair. Like, I can't, I can't stand it, almost. I that other fish dead, but. Is it for now? Or not, apparently. See? Should've took that fish out when I had the chance. Uh, I have to say, I'm enjoying doing these videos. It's given me an excuse to play a bunch of Mario Maker, play a bunch of levels that, let's be honest, I probably wouldn't have played otherwise. I would have probably lost interest in following specific, you know, forum threads for levels, and I would have started, like, just playing endless mode over and over. Which I have also been doing about. In the unfortunate event that, like, the waypoint form thread stops existing and I continue making these videos, I'll probably do the endless mode. But that's unlikely. The thread is buzzing. Oh my god. I can blame this. Oh, I didn't realize trees look different in different themes. I've really not messed about with 3D World much yet. I didn't realize that trees look different in each themes. I mean, it makes sense. I just didn't know it was a thing. Because 3D world itself doesn't really have... Unless I'm just remembering, like, it, I don't think it has different types of trees. It just has, like, the regular trees and, like, snow-covered version of them. Right, that fish is going to come back and kill me. Kill this magic creeper, though. Kill that fish. Don't get killed by the big dragon thing. Leave my car. I'll come back for your car. Oh my god. Is my car still here? It's gone! Someone stole my car. Alright, let's see if I can get to live without it. That's odd. Oh. How did I get that coin with the car then? If you go far enough, your car's going to despawn. But I assume you're going to need it later. This. Go back! You, the car can't really turn around. It doesn't really do that. It goes relatively fast. Not even that fast. In a straight line. But then you try to turn, it does this. It's kind of useless. And it's not that much of a speed boost. 
And like these long jumps you can do are not that impressive. Really, the car kind of sucks. It's not a great car. How can I bounce off it? I didn't bounce off at the start. Okay. Right. Let's try again. Let's check this tree. There's a mushroom! I knew it would be something there. Let's kill the fish. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do. Oh, I died too soon. Well, not died, but you know. I missed the jump. Just kill the magic Koopa. Stay out of the fire. Kill the magic Koopa. Continue to stay out of the fire. I wonder if you're meant to park under the tree. Is that why the trees are there? Are they safe spots for your car? Like, will they... Are they positioned enough of a distance away that... No, okay, my car despawned. spawned. Never mind. That would have been really smart <laughs> if they had measured how far you can go without despawning your car. Alright. And I'm back. Easy. Is there more? There's more. Hey, buddy. You, can, you turn way faster than I can. I need your car, though. Oh, no. I don't know what this is. Store, but what else? What else time is it here? What the rest of that meme? Oh, that car's gone. I don't have a... I don't have a key. Even if I get in here, it's not going to work. There must be a key at least part way down, and a mushroom, I guess. Or maybe you can smash that block with a car. Hmm, Koopa. Go back to sleep. Apartment number. If I need to go right the way to the other side of this to get a key... No, because this is really the other side. Oh, I do. Oh, no. Who needs cars anyway? Me. The answer is... Oh, well. I think I need to hit that block up at the top right. That's probably where the key is. Right? That makes sense. I messed up. I messed up. So badly. If I do that again, I'm just going to respawn rather than waiting to die. Right, so I want to go in the thing. I keep doing that. There's so much momentum on the car. This levels me up. Okay. Starting over doesn't take you back to the checkpoint, it takes you back to the start. And there's no checkpoint option. That was a stupid mistake. I didn't realise that. I thought it took you back to the checkpoint. That's fine. I got this bit down. I say as I missed the first key. How am I alive? It's in this tree. I don't know because I missed it. Okay, and the pipe. Oh my god. So I'm missing two keys. Ignore the magic Koopa. Oh god, get this one. Get this one. Oh, who needs cars anyway? 
that tweaster button that makes here a mash be easier without the car. <laughs> Alright, you get in my way. You let's go and slow down, not that much. That was exactly what I expected would happen. I do it. I seem to be patient, but not too patient. Once you're in the twister, it's not too bad. Because you kind of mostly just follow along with it anyway, and then you can just go like this. It's not even that far, is the thing. Oh my god, I messed this up. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. How far along was this? I'm gonna miss it. Oh, 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 oh no! Get me in! Okay, well at least I know what to do. But I need to hit that block while staying in the car. Or at the very least putting the car somewhere that I can go back and get it. I could always just try to keep one of those. That's not our option. You don't need a car for anything that way, because you can just give us coin. That's not the worst idea, actually. Maybe easier than the actual level. <laughs> Alright. This time. So don't make any mistakes, like accidentally starting over. I think I'm making. Well, I'm not making any progress right now. This probably fastest way that I can. The suicide pit. This one. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I'm probably respawn it all from here. This is what I should really be doing. You can press down to, to your horn. It seems silly. Oh my god! That was so close. This time. This time. There's no like break for the car, is there? Because you can hold down the run button to accelerate, which is neat. Damn it. I fell out of the twister. No, don't start over. Don't make that mistake again. Uh, struggling to beat your level. Or for who made it. Dixivd. Dix Dixivd. That was stupid. This would be a lot easier if I wasn't doing stupid things. As it turns out. I'm doing these sweet car tricks though. Let's give it three more tries. Because I assume that just goes to the end of the level. And it'd be nice to show it and actually beat it. I tend to beat levels in these videos. Why do I keep doing that? Don't start over. Jump in the pit. I tend to finish levels in this, except those bob on ones in the last one. Because I tried, I physically couldn't. If there's a trick to them, I missed it. Oh my God. Get in the twister. 
keep wanting to go back to start over. I know that's not good. I wonder if anyone's fallen into that pet accidentally. I've only done it on purpose. Stay in the twister for a bit longer than you think you need to. Side works. Why am I so impatient? I keep doing that over and over. I know it doesn't work. I know I need to slow down, get in the twister, but instead, I'm just blasting it. Have I broken this? Oh, no. I'm now too far away, so I'll do the opposite. I don't know what meant to do. One more. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it! That jump there, what I assume is the last jump. I assume you have to head up the car. But I don't think you can. You can't get the car back out of there. And small Mario can, like, break the the block down below. So I must be missing something. Alright, this is for real my last try. I feel like I'm definitely missing something. Okay, we're going to leave this one unfinished. I'm going to finish it in my own time. Not your time. But, it's a cool level. I'm just bad at it. So next, we have Skip Squeak... Squeak Skip Squeak Palace. I can say that easily. Uh, I've actually done this one already, just because I was interested enough in it that I was like, hey, I'm going to go do this. Because if you watched the first video, one of the first levels I made in this game was using these, Skip Squeak's apparently the name of the little mice things from 3D World. Uh, one of the first levels I made was using them for platforming. And this does it as well. So I wanted to see if James had came up with any, you know, ideas that I hadn't thought of when making his level, mainly so I could steal them and make it a more elaborate level there. But I think that James hit the same issues that I did, uh, like the limitations of what Skip Squeaks can do. So like this is all very straightforward. This is cool though. I like this as a concept. I think that comment is a good idea was mine actually. Does it say who said No it doesn't. Uh, yeah I think that was mine. I think that's why it's yellow. Oh, this is really cool as well. This guy's got a key. I don't think using a key as a and an arrow as a as a, like a hint to be like this thing has a key actually works, because for the first couple of minutes I was stupid and thought, oh, I need to make the skip squeak over there and get the key somehow. How did I do that? Uh, I think you're also meant to make these jump and go under them, but you can actually also just jump on them. I like the idea though. Again, cool ideas. It's a pretty neat level in general. Oh god. Yeah, similar thing to what I did as well with that. I like it. I don't know if there's much more to be done with these skip squeaks. I'm sure someone smarter than me will figure it out. Like, James is clearly smarter than me and came up with the them jumping on the, the clouds thing, which is, I would not have thought of that. Uh, I will definitely steal it, <laughs> but I wouldn't have thought of it. It's a cool level. Good job, James. 
Next up, we have Power Block Perfection by Lazy Piranha or Crimson Behillet on the forum. 0% completion rate. Got to carry Power Block to the end. I am not very good at this game, so I'm not going to try and, you know. I'll have to get 50 coins as well. I'm not going to try and claim that I'm going to be the first one to do this. So I take this one as a power block. Hmm. I don't... That seems like an odd thing to have here. Without any hints as to what it does. Oh my god. Okay, it needs to be red, I guess. No, it doesn't need to be blue. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that, because you you can't see what it's meant to be. I'd bring those a bit closer. Or something, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you could draw like a mini one up in the air to give a hint, like a mini map. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh, this level looks impossible. I can understand why this is 0% completely rate. Let's try and be the one. It's like in Jet Li's most famous movie, The One. Oh god, I murdered that twister. I don't know if that's what I was meant to do. I assume 50 coins must be right at the end and you need the, the power block to get them. Oh, I should have. Oh, what would that work fine? Oh, I appreciate that people have done this. Ah! And a few different levels I've seen this. It's just a smart little way of duplicating the, the you know, the, the switching blocks that you get in the 3D world stages. Instead of it being on a timer though, it's just the Cooper going from side to side. And also lets you adjust basically how long the timer is by doing that. I'm just never going to get through this bit without losing. Hmm. This first bit doesn't seem that hard. I'm messing up, but it's just because it's me. Um, I think I can do it, but I don't know about later. <laughs> That's the earliest I've lost that mushroom. Sheer stupidity. Right. Now, I'm gonna die. Because I need to... See, things... I'm taking that jump too quickly because I try to get through the fire. But... It doesn't work because I just get hurt anyway. So I may as well take the jump through the fire, really. Because that doesn't swing as much as I would want it to. Hmm. You have a lot of time. You need momentum going into the, 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 the thingy, the claw. The claw. Right. This time, though. I got it. I'm gonna ignore all this stuff. I'm gonna murder this twister. I'm gonna jump on these guys and down to here. I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna to die to this Koopa in a stupid way like I did last time. Oh, that's so fast. The flashing power block also means you can't put it down. I think, I'm not gonna try it. Uh, Cause there's a flashing one and there's a regular power block. Regular power block you have to throw to set off. Flashing power block, any kind of thing will set off. Oh, that was closer to being good. Still not. Not remotely. That was just stupid. How did I even do that? I've got about time for... Well, depending on how long this level takes. I think I've got time for at least two or three more levels. I'm not in any rush tonight. Okay, let's not do this. Go, 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 go! Oh, I messed that up so much! Oh my god.
to do this. It's so hard to talk and also play levels like this. The second half of this level is basic. Oh my god. That's so much easier to land when you're small. The second half of this level is... Oh, I don't know, about half actually, I guess. But the second section of this level is... Uh, basically like those Mega Man vanishing block levels that are the worst part of Mega Man. <laughs> I mean, it's well made. I'm not criticizing the level. I'm saying they're the bit that everyone hates. <laughs> they're also the bit that I used to make a bunch back in Mega Man Powered Up. Which, if you've never played Mega Man Powered Up, is where Mario Maker took all its ideas from. Like, legitimately, almost everything, even a lot of the UI stuff that Mario Maker added to make all this level building stuff really intuitive and nice, Mega Man Powered Up did it on the PSP years ago. But no one played it. Which is a shame. So you can make really elaborate Mega Man levels. But also, it was on PSP, so the, the item count was way lower. Most of the limitations in that game were really just like, hey, you've placed all the enemies you can place, you're doomed. Oh god, my nose is getting itchy. This is going to ruin this run. Ah, scratch my nose. Whoa. Run saved. How did I kill them? Oh, that was stupid. Right. I can do this. This is doable. Definitely doable. Where would be that first percentage? That one of the zero point whatever percent. I don't know how many people play this level. Might not. It might actually be a number. Okay. 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 Got it. Stop playing chicken with the shell. Oh, I jumped too late that time. This gets... It has to get more complicated further up, right? Like, it seems... I'm going to guess it does. I was going to say very confidently that it does there, but I, I guess I don't know. This might be the only bit of that platform, but... I'm going to get flamed. Oh, I didn't. I nailed it. Getting better at that. It only took me a thousand tries. That might be being hyperbolic there. But maybe not. I've not been counting. That was... I need to actually plan my jumps and not just do that. I'm being impatient as always. So hit this button. Ugh, just mess up these jumps again. It's so hard. If you mess up that first angle, then it's just over. I mean, it's not over, but you've lost your mushroom. I hope there's no point in layer that need this, like, hey, you need to have the mushroom. Because I'm never reaching that. That would be the end of this level for me, if that's the case. Oh, that was dumb. I got caught against the edge of the spikes and bounced weird. Didn't know you could do that. Dying in more elaborate ways each time. And collecting mushrooms in different ways each time as well. But that's more intentional. Damn, too high that time. Right, that's fine. Jump this. Saw blades. Do this. Oh, mm. I need to get a time on that then. Yeah, there's definitely more of this though. At the very least, they double up them after this. So after this initial bit, it seems like I'll be able to kind of just jump up and down to get my bearings. Hopefully. 
That was stupid. That was the dumbest death so far. Maybe. I don't know. Vote below. There's no more. Can you do polls on YouTube? Okay. Ah, uh, too high. One second. Get through the twister. This twister seems to only be here to annoy. Like, it doesn't actually get in the way that much. This is very minorly annoying. Oh, I hate... I hate you. Oh, this is not... I'm not gonna be able to do this. Can I move to move the side to let them come out? Okay, I can. Does the pebble block them? It does. That's pretty good. Oh no, it's still me. No! If I had the mushroom, I could just cheese it. Yeah, this level's mean. One of the harder levels that I've done in this entire video series. Which is only video 4? So it's not actually saying that much. But it's still hard. We had those Bob on ones that literally didn't work. Okay, that's mean. They did work. I couldn't get them to work. They have been completed multiple times by multiple people. It's just not those people are me. They're not Kieran proof. That doesn't show up in the video, but when recording, the audio is going a bit crazy whenever those flames go off. I'm not sure why. <laughs> this level. Why am I bad at Mario? Right. The moment I make any mistake in that intro, I just give up. <laughs> Not necessarily like consciously, but it definitely happens. You just go too high sometimes, and what can you do about it? Nothing. All you can do is swing into the flames. I hope I can do this, if only because, as someone playing this level, I would love to be able to see a video of someone finishing this level. Just to know that it is doable. And the, the author of the level didn't just put some cheat in somewhere. It's definitely possible. Maybe there's just some invisible blocks that start there. That only he knows, or she knows, where they are. I don't know gender. Okay. Do the thing. Be patient. Oh my god. Where'd I go now? Down in the spike pit, I guess. Oh! That is just unfair. No coins, no guides. You gotta put something there to guide people. You can't just be like, hey, by the way, you dead. But at the very least, that cannon bit is not as hard as I thought it was. Oh god! 
I needed to move in a little bit. I hit the block above. It was such a good run though. Imagine how good it would have been if I just nailed it. <laughs> Got right to the end with the mushroom and everything. Alright, starting to get the hang of that. None of it feels good. Like, <laughs> that jump with the claws feels bad. But it works. And I seem to have got the timing down to some degree. I'm, I'm so glad that they have wiggle room and that went through me. Oh, did I mess up the timing of that? Did I slow down the... Can you do that? Can you slow down the shell? Because it definitely seems slower. Too slow. Yeah, I've somewhat... Not completely... I probably botched it this time. Uh, yeah. But I've mostly got the timing down on that. But it doesn't feel right. <laughs> it just it feels... It works, but it feels bad. It feels like I'm jumping off at the wrong time. It feels like I'm meant to hit spikes. It feels like... It just doesn't feel good, man. Ah, that was bad. That's fine. I hope I don't need this mushroom later. Because the odds of me doing all this without taking any hits and then doing the cannon bit... Oh, that's not what I need. That's the opposite of what I need. I have one goal. At the very least, the next level should be a bit easier. Hopefully. Ugh. I don't really have a choice though. You need to jump. The flames are fast enough that you can't really you can't really swing back and forth more than once. Right. I could have just went straight for this. Oh this was that was overzealous. I need to wait one more round. I was jumping too far on that first one, missed the second one. I can do it though. And then there's buzz saws underneath, which is gonna be easy. I'm probably gonna die like a thousand times now I've said that. It looks easy. I mean admittedly I've barely seen it. But there can't be that much there. There has to be another overworld section. Because the way Mario Maker works. The end goal is spawned in the area that you're... Oh, I'm not holding the button. Uh, the area that you make the, the, the first area. So this one, the first area, is that. That overground. And then you go underground, and you're wombling free. Getting killed by beetles. I agree, mystery commenter. How... I think I'm making progress. Not like run to run. Because obviously sometimes I'm doing this bit perfectly like this. And then other times I'm dying on it. But like overall, we are making forward momentum. Right. Far enough away? Nope. This, this, oh my god, that last one. I think you can skip that last one. You could just land on the cannon. Oh, I almost didn't go far enough. Right. <clears throat> okay, maybe you do need the mushroom. Oh, you... I'm, go I'm going back. I can't though, it's not one of those. I'm doomed. Okay, little Mario can run under that pretty easily. Big Mario can't. So you don't need the mushroom, but you're definitely going to lose the mushroom there. You won't too small in the next level. Alright. Oh, 
Yeah, I messed this up. Messed up. That's fine, because I don't need to be big. <laughs> Let's nail this saw blade section. That's going to be a pain. I've got this slow down again. I have. Am I just imagining things? It feels slower. Not by much this time. That first time it was definitely way slower. Why are you changing momentum on shells? Someone's gonna make an evil level around that. Oh my god! This time. I'm making so much progress. Oh. This is the, as I just talked about making progress, instantly dead. What are we at? 21 minutes on this according to my recorder. Jesus, this is going to be an hour long video. Hmm. Couple levels are relatively short, but hey, the waypoint community good at making hard levels, or at the very least, levels I'm bad at. Okay. No, oh, I probably could get through that if I timed it right. Right. Let's not botch this. We already botched it. Hey! Oh my god! You don't need the power block! You monster! You... <laughs> <laughs> that is the most evil, despicable level, and I hate you. No, that was great. <laughs> you don't need the power block. Ah, easy. Uh, you don't need the power block. Unless I was meant to use it somewhere during that. Next up we have first level, which is made by Lazy Piranha's five-year-old son, supposedly. Oh, it says a high complete rate, so I, I can believe it. But I don't know. I don't know if I can believe anything Lisa Pratt says now. Naming their goddamn level power block perfection and not needing a power block. <laughs> this is a good start. I like it. Uh, I, uh, uh, that was... That almost went bad right away. These Goombas pilot in these thwomps. <laughs> just bashing against that one. I like this level so far. I don't get stuck under these pipes. Oh, this, this level's gonna kill me. How can I not get back out of here? I got back out of these ones. Alright, let's just die. Let's make a run for it. After this goes. <laughs> I wonder if one of these pipes has got to go somewhere, right? I'm not going to test all of them. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hmm. I don't know if Crimson or Prana, whichever name they want to go by. Uh... It tends to show their kids me being this, but if that's the case, 
I should probably cut the swearing on that previous bit. Note to self. I like this level though. Oh no. This Bowser gonna kill me. Am I good? Ah, Bowser. Spinny jump back up here again. Take out these Goombas. Uh. Dodge all this fire. That's the downside of Bowser is you put him in a level, he makes himself known. But I got him. I like that. It's a good level. Sure. Simple. Bowser causing pain. Pipes everywhere. Nick thinks says good pipe spacing, which is true. That's putting the pipes to this one gap apart means that you can run across them, which is, is good. You can run across it while the thorns come down. So it's a good thing to figure out in your first level. Let's do wow. I enjoyed it. So congratulations. To Crimsy Bailey, or I forget whether his name on here, Prana something. Lazy Prana. Good job to your child for making a cool level.